To complete question 7, students are required to use the um, data analysis plugin. We need to make sure the data analysis plugin is activated. It is more likely that this is not activated on your desktop. So let's go through the process of activating data analysis. The goal of question seven is to ask students to compare two columns of information on the basis of the mean, median, mode, as well as on the basis of range, standard deviation, coefficient of variation, skewness, and ketosis. This concept has been taught and students are aware of how to describe data using mean, median, mode, range standard deviation coefficient of variation and skewness and ketosis so to activate the data analysis plugin let's work through this process it is important that you take note of the fact that there are two types of data analysis plugin there are there is a data analysis and a data analysis plus <coughs> sorry the data analysis comes along with the Excel. It is an extension of Excel. On the other hand, the data analysis plus is provided by an external vendor. We will use data analysis for question seven and data analysis plus for question eight. The two sometimes conflict, so we may have to deactivate one when using the another. So let's begin with activating the data analysis. To do this, we go to File, Options, Adding, double click on Adding, and then click on Go. This comes up. And we check the analysis tool pack is checked and click OK. Now, to verify it, if this is activated, we go to data and you see the data analysis ribbons or the data analysis uh, pop up right here. Now, with that said, we then click on data analysis and these are the various methods statistical methods provided in Excel and they are arranged in alphabetical order the one that we need for this question is descriptive statistics so we check descriptive statistics and click OK and then we make sure the cursor is highlighting or is blinking in the input range. And then we select the, the data set, including the column header. And then we, you check off the labels in the first row to make sure that Excel recognized that the first row is a label and it's not part of the data. And then we also, you also click on the output range where you want to place the output. And again, make sure the cursor is blinking and then place anywhere empty space you have. And then the last thing you need to do is to check the summary statistics and when that is done click OK and this, this is the results just stretch it and so that we can see it clearly now Excel we are comparing vacation hours of male with vacation hours of female 
and as you can see the mean and highlight those that we are interested in Excel gave us more than what we need so we're just going to highlight just few of them that the question is asking the student to complete so, so those in yellow are what student had analyzed and described and compare the two columns of information with so and I have taught student how to make such comparison how to use mean median mode standard deviation ketosis skewness and the range in their comparison it is student are supposed to describe the data with and make such comparison with these methods for example when a ketosis value is less than negative 1.3 as in the case of this this is a negative ketosis so students have to describe what a negative ketosis is the lecture notes have all the details on a description of a negative ketosis so students are very much aware of that and they are to refer to their lecture material and provide a description of what a negative ketosis is in the context of this data if you have in the same way with skewness they are also aware of the benchmark for skewness so that anything a skew value which is less than negative one is a negative skewness if it's more than positive one we call that positive skewness if it's between negative one and a positive one that is zero skewness and student knows exactly the description of these three different types of skewness similar to ketosis if you have it as less than negative one then it's called negative ketosis or platyketic if we have it as more than positive one it's called positive ketosis or leptoketic you have it between negative one and positive one then that is zero ketosis or mesoketic and students are aware of these terminologies and how to describe them and again they were, you have to ask them to refer to their lecture material to have a full understanding of these descriptors and then the median is also basically a method which gives you the middle value in a rank observation so in this case we can see that half of the values are less than 142.5 the other half 50 percent are more than 142.5 basically the median split your data into two equal halves 50 percent less than the median and 50 percent more than the median that's exact description that i may want to see from student moods refers to the most common or current values so the vacation hours the most common vacation hours for the male is 280 compare that with 220 for the females and then the average refers to the typical value the average vacation hours for male is 163 which is less than the average vacation hours for female which is 180 so essentially they have to use these methods to provide a description and then to make a comparison between the two columns of information using data analysis plus